Alright, this is going to be a bow making video. The easiest bow making video you'll ever come across. For each ribbon, you're going to need to measure out one yard. at least five ribbons. Always wired ribbon. Doesn't have to be exactly a yard, but close to a yard. All the measurements are going to be the same on every layer. don't have to worry about measuring. I don't use a traditional bow maker. bother me. Not a fan of the flipping and twisting and measuring. For me this is just easier. So you dovetail the ends, line it up with the end of your ruler or your mat, crease it in the middle, and crease it at the six and a half inch mark. Crease it at 18 inches and six and a half inches. You open it up, and I don't care about my directional ribbon about which way it's going. Because I put so many bows on my wreaths and so many ribbon tails, you can't tell in the end. But you're going to crease up the middle and put that in. Then on your side creases, you're going to pucker that up and put it in, and you're going to shape it into your X shape. So the first two loops and tails go to the bottom. The next two loops and tails go to the top. You're going to do the opposite on the next layer. So cut your dovetails. Crease it at 18 inches and six and a half inches. Pucker up the center crease. Put that in. So you're going to pucker up one side. This time the first loop and tail is going to the top and the second is going to the bottom. So when it's stacked it'll be tail, loop, tail, loop all the way up. So make sure you have your X shape. It's better to shape it now than to try and shape it later. and six and a half inches. Same thing again. Pucker, pucker. So you just flip it up. 
you've got your loop and the ribbon is always on top, the top side of the ribbon is always on top. Even if it is in the print, printed ribbon, you need to make sure that the top is always on top because sometimes the texture is different on the back and you can often see the wire in the back. if you have creases from running it over the folding it over the ruler just straighten it out with your fingers it's not hard to do if you crease it down really hard it makes a permanent crease so don't crease it down really hard until you're certain that's where you want your crease to be And that's it. And if you want to center to your bow, you can cut about 6 to 12 inches. I like mine 12 inches. Dovetail the ends. Pinch it a little past the middle so the tails are a little bit longer than the loop. Flip your back tail over so that the front side is up. Again, whether it's printed a ribbon or not, you want the front side up. Push it down into your bow maker or your whatever you're using to hold your bow. I've seen a lot of people hold it between their fingers or have someone come assist them to hold it between their fingers. That's all fine. It doesn't matter what color your pipe cleaner is because you're going to cover it. You're not going to see it in the end. So you lift up your bow a little bit, take two fingers, slip it underneath all the ribbons, make sure you've got them all lifted, slide your bow up to the top, hold it with your thumb, and then you'll see a little indention on each side where the posts were. That's where you're going to feed that's where you're going to feed your pipe cleaner through through that little indention right between your fingers through the indention in between your first two fingers you're going to push that down with your thumb squish it really tight and flip it over You're going to grab it as close to the center as you can. Okay, now, I'm doing this upside down. Normally, I would pull up on the ribbon and down on the, but for the sake of 
the video, I'm going to do it upside down. Pull up on the ribbon, pull down on the pipe cleaner, and twist it really tight. And your loops should all just perk right up. Now when you put this in your wreath or attach it to whatever you're going to attach it to, you're just going to spread all your loops out and all your tails. You want to make sure you can see a little bit of everything. Adjust your loops so that they're rounded and not pinched. Fluff them up a little. Take your fingers, run them over your ribbon tails so they curl down a little so they don't look all crazy and ugly like this. Make sure everything's spread out and going in different directions. And it works better if you do this when it's already on whatever you're putting it on. When you put it in your wreath and you sink it down a little, it'll just puff right up and you fluff all your ribbons, pull them all to the side, run your finger over all the tail, don't forget your center loop, puff up your center loop, you got a nice big full bow, five layer bow, all of the ribbons I use today are the faux burlap and faux canvas ribbons. They're my favorite to use for bow making. They tend to do the best. Just keep working with it and fluffing it and arranging it till it looks how you like it to look. Again, it'll hold its shape better once it's in the in the tree or wreath or whatever you're attaching it to because it'll hold still while you fluff. Alright, that's it. My easy peasy bow.